Today on SNHU Explains, we're talking to John Kamick and Dr. Dennis Backherms about the cybersecurity program here at SNHU. We'll talk everything from the difference between a degree and a certificate to cybersecurity and AI. So stay tuned. All right, we're going to start off super simple. Uh, I'm just going to ask if you can both introduce yourselves and your roles here at SNHU. I'm John Kamick, Senior Associate Dean, responsible for our cybersecurity and information technology academic programs. I am uh, Dennis Backerms. I'm the technical program facilitator for uh, the STEM vertical, mainly in cybersecurity. Awesome. So we're talking about the cybersecurity certificate today. Just right off the bat, who is an online cybersecurity certificate ideal for? The online cybersecurity certificate is ideal for people who are interested in either joining the cybersecurity field or moving from their current career, um, you know, some maybe something cyber adjacent like information, information technology or even in many cases, business, but don't want to necessarily commit to a full degree program. So it's really intended for folks to kind of get their feet wet, get some foundational knowledge, something that can help them in the job search, uh, as well as plan their career path. Yeah, and I, I'd like to add to that a little bit too. Um, sometimes employee requirements, uh, at, especially for large organizations and and, uh, and government agencies require an ongoing educational path for their employees. And this is a great way. It's not a huge commitment for, uh, for the individual. It's a great way for them to get some of this continuing education credits. Um, it also allows them to, uh, be exposed to the evolving landscape of cybersecurity in general. Um, so, uh, you know, there, there's multiple facets to, to who this would be, uh, ideal for. Yes, that's great too, because they can go and earn their certificate while still working full time. And how fast can you earn a certificate in cybersecurity with SNHU? If you're a full-time student, and typically that means taking two courses per term, you can complete the certificate in as little as six months. One course per term, it'd be roughly doubled out. So what important technical foundations can you gain across the certificate six courses? The certificate's really designed to provide students with the foundational knowledge um, in information technology, which is really very influential to the practice of cybersecurity. So they learn the basics of information systems, operating systems, and computer networks. And then with that foundation, we move into cybersecurity concepts, um, things like fundamental security design principles. What are the different types of risk or threat that affect organizations, as well as just the general concepts for how to protect um, either technological assets or people in an organization. Yeah. That, and I would add to that too. It's, it's almost kind of like, um, it's a, if you ever taken a survey course, it's a good survey course on both it and the cyber foundation world. So it, it's just like building a Lego, you know, uh, building or something. You, you have the big platform that you build all the Lego pieces on, and then, um, it builds that foundation. It's not the complete building but it gives you a nice foundation to kind of go and get exposure to what it looks like to be in this industry. That's great. Yeah, I think that kind of leads into my next question because I think most people listening would then wonder why might you earn a certificate instead of going and getting the full degree? Really, you know, it's about the level of, of commitment that you want to put, you know, you want to make to the educational credential. So if you look at a, a degree program, that's a multi-year investment generally two years for an associate's degree or up to four years, sometimes even more for a bachelor's degree. Um, and not everybody really wants to make that commitment or may not be ready to make that commitment. And so the certificate program is really designed to, you know, give you that foundation as a, a potential career changer or a career starter. Say, yeah, you know, I really want to pursue this field of study and then be able to seamlessly transition into a larger program if you like, or at least get something that would be valuable enough to put on your resume. So that as you're in the, in the job search, um, you have some credentials to lean on. It could be a personal goal as well. Um, it could be something that, uh, maybe you do have long-term, uh, career path in, in mind and, uh, it's a personal goal of yours to maybe brush up on or, or get acquainted with some of the cyber doings and in the evolving landscape, like I said earlier, um, within the cyber world. So it's, it's a, it's a nice. Um, it's a nice uh, area to, to kind of pursue in general. When you look at other folks that may be interested in this type of credential, it could be those that may not be interested in being cyber professionals, but work with them on a regular basis. 
So, you know, with the way cybersecurity touches all facets of an organization, it may be that you're in the business side of the house or marketing, right? Or information technology as a system admin or something, but you need to understand the foundations of cyber to effectively work with folks who are, who are professionals in the discipline. And that's another niche where a certificate can help fill that as well, because again, it's, it gives you the ability to, to kind of understand the perspective of somebody working in cybersecurity, gives you some of the core skills and some of the core knowledge needed to actually move into the discipline. But should you choose not to go down that path full time, you know, as, as, a, as a professional, it allows you to more effectively work with those that are. Yeah, that's something I didn't even think about. It's six months, it's not that big of a commitment and you're getting a lot of knowledge in those six months. Um, and also, do you see, I, I don't know, if you, I mean, do you see a lot of people go from the certificate to get the full-time degree or do most people just get the certificate and that's it? Well, I mean, we, we only recently introduced the certificate, so we don't actually have a lot of data to show progression from one, you know, program to another, but we will be tracking that. And I will say that for cybersecurity as a profession, generally speaking, certificates and certifications are, are highly valued, maybe more so than in other industries. Yeah. And, and to add to that thought too, um, we do, uh, course equates for certificates or professional certificates in the field, say for like security plus or, um, a plus certification, people understand these professional certifications, but with a cybersecurity certificate with SNHU, you can actually transfer those into an undergrad degree. So it's not just a one course to equate to one certificate or maybe two courses. This is six courses that you now have 18 credits worth of, of, um, of an undergrad degree. So if you wanted to pursue and move forward, then you could. That's great. So SNHU cybersecurity certificate is stackable. Uh, what does that mean exactly? What that means is that we've ensured that students that are interested in moving into a larger program, either an associate's level or a bachelor's level program, they have the ability to transfer in all of the credit earned in the certificate to the other programs. So they don't lose any speed progressing through their academic program. They also, in many cases, are, are in the same courses as degree students. So that's one other thing that kind of differentiates our certificate from maybe others is that these are the actual courses, college level courses in the degree program. So it's not a different learning experience. And once you've adjusted to that type of type of environment and look at all the supports that we provide, it's a very easy path from certificate to degree if that's what helps you achieve your career goals. So that was all the questions I had about the certificates, but um, I'm going to have some more just about cybersecurity in general. But before I do that, Casey, I don't know if you wanted to jump in at all with any questions about the certificate. Yeah, thanks, Christian. And thank you for answering these questions. This is great. Um, how would you describe cybersecurity in general, not just a degree program? How would you describe the term cybersecurity in a couple sentences? Cybersecurity is really about protecting information, technology, and people in an organizational environment. What makes this uh, cybersecurity certificate program um, impactful for someone? The certificate program provides a valuable credential for, for learners that are interested in either moving into the field of cybersecurity or may have um, some experience in a, in a field adjacent to cyber but are interested in, in moving over. So career starters and career changers particularly um, are where we are orienting the and I would add one more thing to that as well. Uh, it's a great way to get exposure to both the technical side of cybersecurity, even at a basic level, but also the soft skills needed to do some of the cybersecurity related uh, business processes, right? The professional processes within, within cybersecurity. Um, and uh, those soft skills, especially in the, in the cybersecurity foundations, which is one of the classes in the certificate, you learn developing an adversarial mindset, how the threat actors think. Um, you develop systems way of thinking, how to think through processes and systems in general and apply them not just into a local environment, but in an enterprise or a multinational enterprise corporation. What is a realistic job or career that someone can pursue if they want to take a cybersecurity um, certificate. Certificates really align to some of the, the, the more well-known introductory level jobs in cybersecurity. So in most organizations, that's either somebody who's considered a cybersecurity specialist or a cybersecurity analyst. 
knowing that um, the definition of analyst is very broad. And so the, there could be multiple levels of progression within that role. But those are the two most common job roles that folks will will step into as they join the cybersecurity profession. And do you feel like that's a, a degree, uh, a, a career field that is sustainable for the world that we live in now? Or, or is that a reason to continue maybe on to a, a bachelor's degree? There's, you know, the reasons that you would move into the bachelor's degree relate to factors that are not necessarily tied to one single job role. So, you know, when you look at the, the, the breadth of coverage of cybersecurity, you have a much larger breadth and depth of knowledge acquired in a bachelor's program than you would in a smaller certificate program. Um, that being said, the foundational knowledge you gain in the certificate is valuable in a variety of different positions, um, in, in regardless of industry, because right now cybersecurity is a profession that is in demand across the board, right? Whether you're in banking, healthcare, other regulated industries like, like academia or education, um, small businesses. There's a lot of regulations related, um, you know, to securing confidential information. And right now the demand is so high for cybersecurity professionals that, you know, regardless of what credential you choose, jumping into the field, in most cases, you're going to land in a, in a place that, that helps you move along. That's great. Thank you. Christian. I just thought of one too, and, and I'm not sure if this is a question that is easy to answer, but um, we talk about AI a lot uh, recently. I'm just wondering how AI is sort of changing cybersecurity, whether it's an added threat or whether it's helping. Um, can you talk about that a little bit? Dennis, you want to jump in first? Do you want me to go? Sure, sure. sure. Um, well, AI is actually, uh, we use this as a tool in cyber, right? And quite frankly, it's been around for a long time. It's not something that's new. Um, I think it's just got a lot of media attention right now. There's a lot of sensationalism around AI as the new thing. But um, cyber professionals have been using some forms of AI for a while to automate processes. Um, for example, they'll be, build code snippets to do little programs to uh, go out and, and look for things uh, or process data faster, look for specific threat vectors. Um, and that, so that is where the AI tools are being used. And um, this actually, because of the fact that the cyber landscape is so vast and large, these tools have cut down on a lot of the uh, time to uh, ferret out some of these, these threat actors. Uh, so I think in the cyber realm, I think a lot of the, the, the AI type of activity is going on is, is in building these tools and finding these ways to automate certain processes. Uh, and then once things are identified, we always need a cyber analyst or someone actually a human to look at these things to verify before they actually um, go through some type of incident response. So. I think that's where AI, where are you going to see a lot of the AI and cyber um, really flourish is with it building these automated tools. And, you know, to build off of that too, so while AI has been around for a long time, some of the more recent technologies that we're seeing, particularly with generative AI technologies like ChatGPT or Google Bard, um, the tools that are now being delivered to a global audience very quickly, easily, and cheaply. Um, they introduce new risks as well as opportunities for cybersecurity. And so if you have that, that perspective of the systems thinking mindset, as well as an adversarial mindset, what you're able to do is then see where the technology may benefit the practice of cybersecurity, but also how it can be used by malicious actors to do things that are, that are either illegal or unethical. And so it's a new frontier within cybersecurity. The good thing is with the right kind of holistic mindset, um, you can harness it for good and also understand how it could be used for bad. And I think that was all my questions. Um, my last one was just in general, but it, you kind of answered it throughout this entire interview is when it comes to cybersecurity, why is it such an important field of study? Um, could you just give like a very basic answer for this? Yes, in a world where everything is connected digitally, you know, Understanding how to protect systems, networks, and people is critical. We have a lot of 
really valuable information, a lot of really valuable computing assets. And at the end of the day, also need to make sure that people are secure in their jobs, in their homes, wherever, wherever they may be. And in, in a digitally connected age, cybersecurity is an essential practice to help keep things the way that they should be. I do think that cyber is something that's going to be around for a long time. Uh, these positions are going to be needed. Professionals in this field are going to be needed. Uh, this is something that I call a recession proof profession because, um, you always, we live in a digital world, kind of piggybacking up what John said, we live in a digital world. Um, and, and you know, you, everything is connected to the internet. Even your scooter that you ride, it's electric scooter. You could put, you put an app on your phone. And, and so you're going to need professionals to continue as this evolving landscape, you know, the threats are new. They're going to continue to evolve with the, with the, uh, digital landscape as well. So it's very important, um, to, uh, for the cyber industry to have these professionals coming in. Well, yeah. Thank you both so much for joining us. Uh, it's a lot of great information and I think that's it.